It wasn't that long ago when IBM was worth more than Microsoft, Apple, and Google combined. It took one wrong decision to make that all go away. So let's go back to the 1970s. Back then, IBM owned everything related to business computing. If you wanted a serious computer, you only bought IBM. They made the hardware, the software, and they absolutely controlled everything. Fast forward a decade, and it's now the 1980s, Apple and a few other companies are starting to develop the first personal computers. Back then, IBM didn't care. They thought this was way too small, it was gonna be way too cheap, and it wasn't worth our time. Only one year later, Apple's absolutely crushed it with a personal computer and they put a team together to build their first personal computer as fast as possible to do this they outsource almost everything they went to intel for the processor for the operating system they went to a 25 year old called bill gates and for a lot of the other hardware components they went and outsourced all of it here's the most important part for the operating system so the software that came from bill gates made a deal with ibm he'd license it to them and here's the key part he would keep the rights to sell it to anybody else so it wouldn't be exclusive to ibm ibm actually agreed to this because of how much of a panic they were in. They also figured the real money was in the hardware and the software wasn't that important. So they launched their IBM PC and it became the standard. Every business wanted one. But here's what IBM didn't expect. Because they used off the shelf and outsourced parts for almost everything, other companies like Dell, HP, Compaq, they started making personal computers as well. And every single one of those computers needed an operating system and they all went to Bill Gates for MS-DOS. Suddenly, IBM was just another customer for Bill Gates. Now, IBM IBM tried to take back control. They even developed their own system called OS2, but by then it was way too late. In 1990, Windows was everywhere. Microsoft controlled the platform, and IBM, they were just another PC maker in a very crowded market. Only two years later, in 1993, IBM announces it's made its first loss. The biggest loss any company had reported in corporate history at the time. Eight billion dollars. Meanwhile, Microsoft's market cap surpassed IBM. Today, Microsoft is worth over three trillion dollars. IBM, they don't even have a PC division anymore. The real question is, did Microsoft win, or did IBM? IBM just give it away. If you have other stories you want me to cover, comment below.